Hey guys, this is KGalvids, and today I will be showing you another Skyrim glitch slash tutorial. So, today I will be showing you the awesome, the coolest glitch or exploit you have ever seen. This is, um, half legit because you have to do a really long quest. So, uh, let me just have some background information before you start this. Uh, required, you need to finish the quest where you get the Elder Scroll and, uh, where you get the Ognium Infinium. It's like a little uh, book that's worth around 2,500 and you'll need a house. So right now I'm in my white run house. I'll show you in the map. Um, it's called Breeze Home. Basically what you want to do is buy it for 5,000 or you could use a house glitch which I will be showing you later. Um, so I'm in white run right, white run right now. Basically uh, you can use the house glitch to get a house like this. And you need to buy everything in the house. So have all the upgrades like the uh, alchemy desk. So after you have after you have all the um the uh house house items you're gonna need to go to this bookshelf and make sure i'll show you the items make sure you have this book called the Og ogma infinium uh basically you get it from the quest uh it's a little side quest uh where you go to the the elder scroll and you get that and then you get the lexicon or something like that just google it it's not too hard to do um you should be able to do it if you're past level 20 and at the end you get this book make sure you do not read it okay just take the book and then go to your house so what you want to do is uh, activate bookshelf uh, this is your bookshelf it shows your bookshelf right now so basically you go to your books Ognium Finium do not press X do not store it just press A or RT just read it so once you're reading it it'll give you uh, four options do not read the path of might the path of shadow and the path of magic path of might yeah it's like one-handed two-handed archery all the all those skills that I've just said and I think it was like five or six skills on path of might basically it's like uh, your fighting skills they'll all go up by five levels I'll always like 90 or level one it'll all go up by five so same thing with path of shadow go by five this is like um, uh, Path of Shadow is something else, I forgot, it's like pickpocket and all this stuff, it's like the side little skills, and the Path of Magic, obviously it's the magic, like alchemy and everything, so all these three, they go they go up by five, so I'll just choose the Path of Might, press A, look at that, my level automatically goes up, and all my skills that are in that category go up by five, so, <clears throat> as you can see, they're all going up by five, so you press B after you're done uh, doing that, and then now you store it, so press X. So after you store it, you go press B, go out, you have it in the bookshelf. What you don't want to do is uh, read it, use the thing, and then don't put it back on the shelf because then it'll disappear. So now it's back on the bookshelf, you can do it again. Press A, read, but this time you do not choose a skill because you want to put it back into your inventory. So press do not read, and then press A again to take it. So you take it again, you activate the bookshelf. Basically, what, what you're doing is uh, you're, you're using the skill while you're trying to put it on the bookshelf at the same time so it doesn't recognize you already used it so you can keep doing this until you're level 100 uh, it's a great way to get to level 100 in all skills but I must say that this will ruin your gameplay because you'll just be super strong it's like really boring <clears throat> so go back to your books press A again uh, this time I will use the path of shadow and then after you do that you press B and then press X to store so after you do that, it's back on the bookshelf, and then press A to read. But then when you take it off the bookshelf, do not read it. Just take it, and then activate again. And keep doing this process until you get to level 100. So I'll just uh, read it one more time for magic, just so you guys can see. It doesn't matter if you turn the pages, by the way. Nothing will happen. Just make sure you don't do it too fast. Otherwise, um, something will happen. So I, I recommend saving beforehand after you've uh, done this a couple of times so that... Uh, if you do mess up, you can just go back. So, Path Magic, as you can see, Illusion, all that crap. Store it again, and then once you're done, just save. So, um, that's pretty much for this video, guys. You just uh, keep doing this method until you get to level 100 on all skills. Um, if you guys have any comments or concerns, please leave it in the comment section below. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this awesome tutorial. Um, this will definitely be <laughs> pretty fun to test out. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.